feng shui for your home office desk is the focus of this video and if you're looking to refresh the space that you work in from home whether you work full-time or part-time from home then I hope you find this video useful I'll be covering several things that you need to consider when you are positioning your desk and what's on your desk and I'm not an expert by any means but these are things which I've picked up along the way which I've done more research into and I hope you find them useful. If you've not come across Feng Shui before it's the practice of arranging your physical space to achieve harmony and balance with your environment. So me personally, I'm really conscious of what's around me, my environment and how it affects me. I remember when I was a teenager, constantly rearranging my bedroom, moving the furniture around and yeah, it's just one of those things I wanted to do. And when I used to work in a corporate environment, I was always the person who would be finding out why we couldn't have the air conditioning on and um, trying to improve the heating and just the layout and decluttering. So it's something that's innate within me. So Feng Shui intrigues me so much. So here are some recommendations for how to use Feng Shui and in particular the relation to your desk. First thing is the position of your desk. So you want your desk to be in what's called the command or power position. And what that means is that you want to be able to see the door from your desk. And this is all about making you feel at ease in the room or space because you can see who's coming in and out of the door. It makes absolute sense really. The door is right behind the camera actually. So I can see whoever's coming in and yeah, it's just supposed to make you feel more secure and stable in your environment. Another thing in relation to the command position is to have a wall behind you, a solid wall like I have here. So in the past when I've, this office, I have moved the configuration around so many times. Um, I did used to have the desk here and my back to the window, but then I realized that wasn't a good thing. The next thing to consider is what your desk is actually made of. So this is a wooden desk and this is a very popular material for feng shui because it's said to represent growth, stability and grounding. The next thing to consider, which is pretty obvious really, which is to make sure your desk surface is clear of clutter because that can add to a sense of chaos and um, yeah, it, it just makes sense really. So clutter disrupts the flow of energy around your desk and it's best to just keep things on your desk that you need that are essential and everything else should be stored away in a cupboard or filing cabinet. And a general good rule of thumb is that 50% of your desk can be covered and 50% should be clear. So at the end of the day, make sure that you clear everything up so that when you come in in the morning, you can feel a sense of calmness as well. The next thing is to place some plants on your desk. And when I give you a little look around, you'll be able to see that I have one, two, three, four plants in this room. And um, yeah, it's really important to me to have a bit of nature inside, but also plants can help by purifying the air and they're known to help concentration and creativity as well. They help to improve the energy flow in the room and they also are said to promote a sense of calm and relaxation. Bear in mind that you need to think about the light conditions that are in your room when you're choosing your plants and which ones will suit that, those particular um, light conditions and make sure they're easy to care for plants as well. The next thing is to add a lamp. Now I've got a lamp just here, you can't, it's not in shot at the moment, but it's good to have a lamp and also mix that with um, the natural light coming in from the window. If you would like to see a full office tour when I reset my office at the beginning of the year, I'll put the video on the screen now. 